G'day guys and welcome to my round nine wrap up video. I uh, had a decent score this week, 23.75. Um, another top 1% finish, which helped me cruise up the ranks. 1,196 up the ranks. I'm now ranked 845. Um, got five out of five league wins. So yeah, cruising there. Um, jump into my team and we'll we'll uh, see where it all went uh, right. Um, so. If we look down back, Shannon Hearn went huge with a 161, uh, 33 disposals at like 96% efficiency, 9 marks. Lloyd, 141, back to his best. Uh, Williams, 75. Um, he was cruising as well. He was looking good for a decent score. Um, but injured, uh, hamstring, I'm not quite sure what the issue is, but he'll miss this week. And GWS, they... Um, they don't let anything out. He could, yeah, they, they could be a full hamstring off the bone. They just don't let any information out at all. Brody Smith, um, 96. Um, he's absolutely cruising and been a good pick. Marty Hall, 75. Um, he's got a bit of cash to make still, so he's not too dried up. Dersma, 56. He's got to go, I think. He's starting to dry up. And Answorth on the bench for 26. Um, I'm worried about his job security now, but... Nothing much we can do there. Uh, midfields, Lockie Neal, 148, just ran rings around Adelaide. Cripps got held up by DeBoer pretty solidly for 66. Five for 101. McRae, I got McRae in for Libba, 124. I think Libba scored 70, so happy with that. Adrian Trelaw, 113. His first quarter, he had like 10 disposals and then like 15 super coach points. And I was like, what the heck? And then at half time he was on like 55 with another 10 disposal. So they must have got a lot cleaner in the second quarter. But, yeah, good average of 110 there for Adzi Trelaw. How many teams did he in? 12%, yeah. I think he was in like seven when I started with him. Danger, 115. Um, did some sort of ankle injury that Kane Corns was not happy about because Danger was on crutches and Kane Corns was like, oh, it's only a fucking sprained ankle, mate. What are you carrying on about? And Kane Corns is a toolkit, so... And he's never liked Danger. Um, but yeah, Danger 115 could have the week off because they're playing Gold Coast, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. Rockleaf 103. He finished on 90 and then it scaled up. I don't understand the scaling at times, but certainly take 103. Um, I had Bailey Scott on the ground as my loophole for Gorns 144, and then I took Stack 63. So I got the rookies right. And um, yeah, Cornelio missed. Um, I hear him whispers he's going to miss again this week, so I'll have to look at that. Grundy and Gorn, 144 each. Absolute gun scorers, these blokes. Rob O'Brien, he's he'll be chopped this week as well. Tim Kelly, 87. He was held up. Uh, Dunk, 88. Down in Geelong. I said before I traded him last week that I don't expect him to score big this week, but I just wanted his price. Um, so, yeah. 88. Heaney, 116. <clears throat> I don't know what this guy's deal is. Oh, actually, one week, you know, he scores 60, and then he'll come out and pump this out. So I was going to trade him last week, but I was forced to hold him because I had other areas to deal with, and I thought this would be the week. But when you come out and knock out a ton, you're going to stay for another week. So keep an eye on him. Moore was a laid out, which was a blessing in disguise because I got Bolters 101. Bolters slowly becoming that late-blooming super coach flower that we all kind of need. Look at, look at that. He's going to make another chunk of change this week. If he can get up over the 300 grand mark, that's bloody unreal. I think he's playing some ruck time, and yeah, just scoring well. Baker, 54. He had a bit of an off game, bit of a butcher the ball a bit, and gave away some free kicks. Corbo for 60. No dramas there. So, what I'm looking at doing, so Rob out. Um, swap Bynes into the ruck and bring Danger back to the forward line. Um, and Dersma out, and then we bring in Lockie Whitfield, uh, everyone thought he was going to drop a decent amount of cash, but he came out and pumped out a 170 with 40 touches and three goals, like an absolute psychopath, um, what was I going to, oh, rookie-wise, yeah, so, the next rookie, it's going to have to be... It's gonna get, I'm going to be going early on a rookie because there's none really bubbling. Um, where is he? Where is he? Debuted on the weekend, yeah. Joe Atley, I think I'll go with him, but he could be out. 
So I'm not. It'll either be him or I'll put Danger back in the midfield and bring in. Um, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Robert Young. Um, so that's that's how I'll go, and it'll just depend again on um, if we just go complete. And I'll definitely probably put Bolter on the ground over Baker. Nah, over Corbo. Corbo's Gold Coast have got Geelong. Geelong's back for back line's unbelievable. Um, I could even go him over him. Mm. And I, like, it'd be ideal if Cornelio played, but I'm just trying to think here. I'm trying to see. I need coverage because if Williams is out, then I've got Answorth as coverage. If Cornelio and Dangerfield are out, then I'll have Stack and Hayes. Yeah, so I'll have to leave Danger in the forward line. Again, fucking. But that sucks because then I don't know how I'm going to get him back. I mean, I'll have to leave Danger in the midfield, but that sucks because I don't know how I'll get him, get him back. Unless, unless, unless I do get Atley. Mm-hmm. Because I want Danger back in my forward line. Right, I'll do this for now, um, and we'll just have to keep an eye on how things are travelling, and obviously if Atley doesn't get a second gig, um, then we'll have to swap it back around. Um, and then this will make sure I've got coverage. I'll just make sure I've got coverage after doing this. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, so, Cornelio... And I'll have Hayes and Stack as coverage. Danger on for Baker. Bolter on for Corbett. Corbo, emergency. Oh, I need an emergency back here. Take him off. All right, that's... I sort of did that off the fly. I should have had that more prepared. But yeah... That's how I'm going to go into this week. Um, if Cornelio's out, I've got coverage. If Williams is out, I've got coverage. If Danger is out, I've got coverage. So, no donuts. Um, can only hope for the best, prepare for the worst. Um, but, yeah, that's how it'll go. And then I think I'll sit tight on trades after this. Kind of, I'm not prepared for buys. I never, I never do. Just take that as it is, and um, we'll see what goes on from there. But uh, yeah, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoy, and we'll see you in the next one.